keyboard mylars. So I'm gonna give you a little uh, breakdown on this and uh, what they're for. So y'all stay tuned. GoPro, stop recording. Rock, 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 bottle on the track, boy. sat down the other day and uh, started ripping apart mylars from your keyboards on uh, computers laptops desktops you know that kind of thing and I've already got a little bit of a start to a bucket up here take all this out for now As you can see, I've already got a few mylars in this bucket. Um, so, I mean, I guess I might as well go through all these and make sure these are ready too. This is more of your keyboard keyboard, like desktop keyboard stuff. So this is kind of my little Mylar box as I open up keyboards and go through them. But I had a pretty good stack of keyboards, so I went ahead and went through a bunch of them the other day. So a lot of your regular keyboards look kind of like this when you open them up. The ones that you, you know connect to a computer, to a desktop. You have to kind of look at these and see where the silver is on. And of course, this one wants to be a pain, but y'all just y'all hang tight. I'll get it in a minute. There we go. So this one was sealed. Most of them are not. Um, but you want to pull them apart some of them only have silver on one side some of them have silver on both sides but you see all the dots and the markings that are on the paper there that's the stuff that you want to get off most are set up as uh, three sheets I think this is the one I was working on. Yeah, so you've got a sheet in between that has nothing on it. And then you've got the other side that's got the silver. This is what you get out of your keyboards. So these things right here, you can get you a tub and you put your, I think it's muriatic acid in there, I don't remember. I'll show this when I actually get around to doing it, but you just drop it in there and let it set for a few seconds, wiggle it back and forth in that tub a couple times and take it out the other side, shake it chemical off and drop it over in the trash can because it's already taken the silver off of it. Uh, super easy to do, just takes a little bit of time to do it. So I keep these, these are one of the things that I keep. I wanna take the silver off of these I see no reason to uh, toss it in the in the landfill. So all these little dots they match up with that piece that's in between. So when you hit the key, it it pushes down through that little hole in that center piece that makes that connection, and that's how the keyboard knows which or computer knows which key you're typing. Most times these things will just peel right apart, no problem. Sometimes they don't. And I mean, it's, it's basically that simple. Pull them 
it apart. Put that blank piece there and put the other two in here. Now, when you get to your laptops and stuff, they, they can look a little bit different, as you can tell. But it's still basically the same principle, but your laptops are normally, let me grab one that's a little bit easier. So this is normally like your top piece on a laptop. There's no silver on that. It's just those little buttons. When you push them down, it completes the circuit and sends it through. So here's one still together. And you just separate the two pieces and you'll see that this is, well, this is basically trash, but this is still two sheets and this is getting pretty thin here. I can't seem to get a hold of it somewhere. Anyway, it's two sheets there. I know it is. There's another laptop. It's a little bit different. Uh, so this one actually works the same way as the computer boards. But most of your laptop stuff looks like this. And uh, it just completes the circuit when you push it down. And that's how you get the, uh, the keystrokes out of that. So... Most, not all, but most of these have silver on them. So you just go through them, pull them apart, separate them out, put them where they go, and uh, and you're done. So this is another one of these laptop ones. So they're not a solid sheet like the others are. But I wanted to bring that to y'all so y'all could see that and know what somebody was talking about uh, when they were talking about Mylar's. Uh, you can also get stuff like this, and I'm pretty sure I've got a couple in here. Yep. Uh, microwaves. Most of the time this is your Mylar out of a microwave, so you can also do the uh, same thing with these. <clears throat> they got good glue on them. But anyway, where all your buttons are and your screen is on your microwave, it's the Mylar too, and when you press that button, that's what's doing the actual connections and all. So, anyway, bring that to y'all. Y'all have a good one, and uh, we'll see y'all next video. GoPro, stop recording.